Alrighty, hello Door 2 fans and welcome to my review for this week of the Who Universes. We're here to finally review the final episode of the 60th anniversary uh, specials for Doctor Who, which is of course The Giggle. Uh, this is the episode that I think a lot of us have been waiting to see how they were going to write off David Tennant as the 14th and more importantly, how is uh, Shooting Out we're going to get introduced into Doctor Who? Well, we finally got to see Shooty for the first time and man, and he was really good. He was really, really good as the 15th Doctor. And I and I have very high hopes that the uh, the next few years of Shooting Out was going to be really, really good. Um, I'm very, very excited about Shooting Out as the new Doctor. Very excited to see where he goes from, from here out. Yeah, very intrigued to see what the what the future holds for this guy and uh, well, for, for the for Shooty and and the and of course Millie Gibson who is uh, going to be joining him as Ruby um, as Ruby Sunday by Christmas so it's gonna it's gonna be very very exciting times ahead but yeah we might as well start right at the top of course we we begin the episode with a with obviously someone going into well we have Charles uh, going into the uh, obviously the toy shop where the toy maker um, lives and of course he gives them he gives them a toy to yeah you because know, obviously he goes to the toy shop because he wants to buy a wooden toy and the toy maker kind of makes a suggestion to buy you know kind of decides to help him select a toy and he certainly does and then from there on um john logie bear uh, you know he ends up visiting john logie bear after visiting the toy maker uh where he would you finally use the doll for the first transmission and but however though however though when he tried to do the transmission it basically the puppet kind of controls them and makes them like laugh kind of go right bizarre and, and weird uh, for a moment and then it was from there on it we see in the present day that that that, that puppet is trying to now control people's minds to do weird things like basically harm other people and even try to run over people and even the doctor tries to you know tries to tell somebody to go on go to the side so he doesn't get run over which is very uh obviously you know that's what the doctor does he tries to make people make sure that everyone's safe from all these attacks and then of course we come across this um obviously we come across the toy maker as as he's the only one who seems to be just having fun and dancing and then the doctor's like and then he he gets a little curious with the guy and as he waves at him when he's when he's interacting with Unit, and then of course uh, we do get a little bit of archive audio from Wilford because obviously Bernard Cribbins died uh, when they were filming the giggles, so they only had a stunt double. But yeah, he was only in for a few seconds, unfortunately. So yeah, they kind of written him off, uh, written him off towards the beginning uh, because of the fact that the actor was no no longer uh, available due to his death. So we come across we. Then eventually we get to the whole unit HQ where uh, Kay Stewart and Shirley M. Beggins finally reunites with the Doctor and Donna. And uh, obviously the Doctor encounters Mel Bush, who we, of course, we haven't seen since the since the Power of the Doctor. When Well, even though she never met the Doctor in Power of the Doctor, you know, she was just there to share memories of the Doctor. And it's only now that she's been able to finally meet the Doctor uh, in his current uh, incarnation. And, of course, the Doctor was very pleased pleased to see Mel for the first time in probably years since they last interacted. And um, and then we also found out that Mel's parents died as well, which was really, really sad to hear that uh, her parents kind of just passed away, which was uh, very, very sad to hear about Mel Bush that he, she lost her family uh, or lost her parents and that uh, during the last time that she met the Doctor, which is really, really sad to, to hear that that's, that's what, what happened you know, since she last met the Doctor, of course. Now, of course, whilst that was going on, of course, they were trying to encounter the whole puppet situation. And obviously, the Doctor realizes that that puppet was laughing at the human race. And then she tries to he tries to trace where the event came from. And he went back in time to visit the toy shop where he would finally encounter, finally find out who's responsible. And that is the toy maker, where he finally realized who the toy maker was. And he was a uh, you know, basically on the hunt to basically chase the toy maker into his toy shop, where he was playing this sort of uh, game where there was all these different corridors where the Doctor was encountering these different puppets. Well, he encountered a puppet of a human being turned into a puppet, and then the uh, and then eventually we would see Donna encounter a a female puppet uh, that yeah basically had all these different puppet children. Uh, 
or baby, should I say, which is a very creepy stuff towards the middle of the story, very creepy uh, puppet stuff going on that the toy maker did. And then eventually the toy maker would come into the, he um, decided to make like a theater production with his puppets where he basically had puppets of different past companions, Clara, Amy Pond, um, Bill Potts and also he kind of reflected on some of his past events and, and even the doctor and then he decides to challenge the toy maker to a uh, to a game obviously with the cards and obviously he decides to go, obviously the toy maker decides to go to 2023 where eventually this is where uh, the doctor finally realizes that he needs to return to to the unit HQ because he realizes that the toy maker was trying to make his way back to present day and uh, but then of course he goes back to the unit HQ and then he encounters the toy maker where he's now singing away and just making all these like I guess you could say all these different flowers coming into the uh, unit HQ and obviously uh, Kate Stewart tries to get the unit soldiers to fire at him even though they were throwing out confetti out of their guns which is really bizarre why that was happening and then eventually uh, the toy maker runs away but you know, he doesn't you know just run away he ends up taking the big gun outside where the doctor realizes that he's trying to um, he's trying you know obviously the toy maker's trying to use the gun to attack the unit soldiers and then eventually the doctor says oh your fight is with me to the point where the toy maker finally fires the gun at the doctor and of course he begins to regenerate and but then obviously he you know he he, he needed help from both Mel and, and Donna because he even said that, you know, this regeneration feels different this time, which is a, another, well, obviously a classic quote um, Peter Davison said um, back in the uh, the Fifth Doctor's regeneration in the case of Andrew Zoddy, that was what he said before he regenerated, and of course, he the you know, daughter and well Mel pulls uh, one of his arms and then he eventually encounters a new doctor obviously Shooty Gatwa was being was sort of pulled from his uh, inside and eventually they finally pulled out Shooty Gatwa where Shooty Gatwa came outside of came out of the body of the uh, 14th doctor and we finally had the 15th doctor interacting with the 14th doctor so these are the two doctors who would finally encounter uh, the toy maker and the, it was basically these two doctors that were finally just defeated the toy maker and def- you basically put him away for good and it was just it was so lovely to see uh, Shooty Gatwa interact with Mel Bush and Donna and, and obviously the 14th Doctor as well and it was just so lovely to see um, Shooty, Shooty Gatwa's Doctor finally uh, battle with the toy maker and along with the 14th and it was just and even the unit even Kate Stewart and uh, Shirley Shirley couldn't even get their heads around the fact that you know the Doctor just had a Bio, bio, regen- bio generation, uh, which is this whole new canon for, well, basically this whole new controversial canon that they've created. So bio, regener- bio, bio generation was basically the reason why the 14th and the 15th Doctor were in the same room as, as each other. And it was really lovely to see see these two interact, these two Doctors interact at the uh, same time. And the fact that they were uh, basically both able to defeat the Toy Maker really shows that basically with two Doctors, these you know, with a future incarnation and a previous incarnation together basically meant that there was basically room enough for them to defeat the toy maker put him back into his toy box now now as well as that uh, we did also get a little scene where um, someone was picking up a ring which almost felt very similar to how the master used to have a ring that brought him back to life so I'm wondering if this will be a, a sign of things to come for maybe the master to return in the future I mean what do you reckon do you reckon the master could be coming back at some point to meet shooting at was doctor i mean i know a lot of people say that the master needs a break from doctor Who, but i wouldn't be surprised if there is going to be a future where shooting at will, will bump into the master well his doctor the 15th doctor is going to bump into the master at some point because uh, i know i know i know he says he wants to meet the daleks at some point so of course the 15th doctor will have to face daleks eventually because yeah, that's what. Oh, yeah, so, um, so yeah, who knows whether the Master's going to return or not? I suppose we'll have to see if we will see a returning villain like the Master or, or any other type of villain might be returning down the road. Then, of course, we come to the ending part where we finally see the, uh, obviously, the do- the 14th and 15th Doctor along with Donna in the TARDIS. And then, of course, the 15th Doctor finally came. Now, interestingly, the 15th Doctor does bring back memories of Sarah Jane. But, yeah, so uh, the 15th 
with Doctor, as he, as I mentioned, you know, he basically remembers Sarah Jane Smith, Andrek, as well as River Song. He brings back memories of all those previous characters, and then he also remembers all the other events that all the previous Doctors witnessed, which was really, really cool to see that he remembers those events. And then he basically created two different TARDISes, where, of course, the ramp, in, yeah, the obviously the bottom of the in, inside of the TARDIS now has a ramp, which basically means it's wheelchair accessibility now, which obviously the Doctor can now put wheelchairs into the TARDIS, which is really, really lovely. And basically, we just see the 50th Doctor basically leaving with his TARDIS, beginning his own adventures, whilst the 14th Doctor is now with Donna Normal's family, and obviously Mel's a part of the... Um, goes around to have a meal with the normals and then obviously we hear a little bit well we hear uh wilford mott in the background even though he based it even though the actor is no, no longer with us but it was really really lovely to see the uh to basically get to, to hear the 50th doctor's theme and see that even though he didn't have any trousers on which i may add he didn't have any trousers on but it was really lovely to see the 50th doctor finally in, you know, working with his tardis and then of course it ends with destination Christmas, which obviously hints towards the fact that Shooting Atwa is going to be uh, obviously returning during Christmas Day 2023, which of course that led to the very first trailer of the church on Ruby Road, which looks absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait for Christmas Day. I cannot wait for Christmas Day. Christmas Day can't come soon enough uh, when it comes to shooting, shooting up where the trailer looks incredible. And I have no doubt to believe this year's Christmas special is going to be an absolute to see shooting up where finally, he, you know, sort of show his acting abilities as the 50th Doctor. It's going to be so much fun to see how he carries Doctor Who from here on. Uh, I have a feeling he's gonna he's gonna blow us away with his acting. I mean, he blew us away in the in this episode. I think we're about to see even more incredible moments with the 15th Doctor to come. And of course, we have him for next year with the the new series, which I know that's going to be an incredible to see what the the new series has in store. But yes, yeah, so that is basically my thoughts on the giggle. The giggle was such an amazing story. A really great way to introduce shooting out world i'm very excited about christmas excited to see how shooting out was going to hopefully blow us away with his with his uh, version of the doctor when we get to christmas but yes yeah, so let me know in the conversation what you make of the uh, the giggle i'm very very like i said very excited to see what the future holds for uh for, you know, for the 15th doctor now that the 14th doctor well now that the 14th doctor's with the normals it begs the question, does that mean we'll see more of the 14th Doctor down the road? Maybe we will. I suppose we'll have to see if we will see uh, the 14th Doctor again at some point or whether he's going to um, or whether he's going to move on after after a little while with Donna Normal. I suppose we'll have to wait and see but nevertheless again nevertheless let me know in the comment section below and of course our next review will be this year's Christmas special where we're going to review the church on Ruby Road shooting at was first adventure as the new Doctor can't wait Christmas Day can't be can't, can't come soon enough so thanks for watching and I will uh, catch you all in my Who Universe news where we'll go through the overnight figures for the giggle and the official figures for the Wild Blue Yonder and then we're just waiting for Christmas Day so see you then